So in this video, I want to talk about the different headers and top menus of the Thrive theme builder and how to go about picking one and how much uh, attention, how much time you should spend on, you know, choosing a header and configure, configuring it. So this is here the uh, list of roughly maybe 20 or 30 uh, pre-made templates and this is really think about that as a starter uh, template and then once you pick one then you can change your logo and the menu and the font and the colors and the background colors so what I would say is go and actually if you're starting maybe starting with the first one for most people their logo will look great on a white background for some of you i've seen some of your logos uh, you don't have a version for a dark black background or a colored background and sometimes color contrast is an issue so for most of you if you're starting out just going with the simple one uh, might be the easiest thing if you do have a designer then you can definitely talk to them and they'll come up with some options and like that's my process i will you know see what the logo looks like what the, the the next thing actually that i look is what's the content itself and the colors and depending if there are images then i look to make the header and the, the first section to match and to be co co cohesive in some way um, and it depends on a lot of factors depends on the quantity of text on the images on uh, the quantity of items uh, so there are lots of consideration when you work with a professional if you're doing it on your own then I would say start with the first one maybe and then maybe over time you can um, you know improve but my point of view for most people starting out um, unless you're a designer is to pick the simplest thing and, and go with it and I'll show you a few examples uh, as well so that's my take but you can definitely have a look and see if you want like social icons or your phone number or a search those options are there and sometimes having a dark background as well can uh, look great if you have the proper logo to take it and you can go with gradients and background images I would say if if you're not a professional designer you can get that wrong so uh, just be aware uh, of that I've seen lots of people that it looks tacky or they put they put too much stuff in there um, so and, and really like you could have colors like that very contrasting but the question is do you want people to see your products see what you do or you want all the focus to be on your logo in the menu and and I would you know uh, suggest that what you want people is to understand what you do and be interested in in learning more about what you do versus you know spending being in awe about your logo and this flashing header that you have so for so for me actually the way i work and the way i design is the first thing the main focus is the headline is about what you do uh, about conveying a sense of you know being clear about what the person does uh, and then the second step is to look at the header and what we do with this so uh, sometimes i will definitely the, the menu is there very often by default but really the core of the work is uh, the main thing because if people don't get that it the rest doesn't matter and just to show you my point here if you're looking for example for a car and you're so i'll show you four or five car manufacturer let's say you're looking for this brand then your eye will come here and say okay that's the brand and that's their new cars or that those are the colors and you'll see okay maybe the pricing is important and maybe there's a so there's a promotion and there's features and there is a guarantee so you that's what you're interested in you're not gonna go and say oh yeah i bought a car because yeah the header i, I like the mouse over effect there so this is our oh there's a there's a mega menu or and that's so cool i i bought the car just because of the logo and the menu so that's not how we buy and when you design your own site i know we all get caught up into preferences and what we like what we don't like but the reality is if you're a buyer of something you're gonna come here and say okay what car do i need or, or you're gonna ask someone and then you're gonna look at you're gonna compare stuff and you're gonna compare the cars you're not gonna compare the headers of of the car you want to buy so then i can show you and you can go on 20 sites and they're all different they're all different and 
you know here the logo is on the right it's very unconventional but nobody's gonna say ah oh, yeah i didn't buy a bmw because this month the logo is on the right and i can't take it you know i don't like that so so you know that's where my message or my point and hopefully you you know uh, you know it comes across is that it's the importance is very relative the main thing is get something like here the menu is there in the, the or the logo is in the middle and it's a bit unbalanced here there's it's empty but maybe the designer wanted it like that i'm not sure but and maybe next month it will be different anyway so so and if someone wants a ferrari then you know they won't even see the, the menu they're like oh, what's a new model or whatever so so that's what i wanted to uh show you and i'll i, I just want to show you as well this is uh, a website someone uh, is on youtube he does great uh, you know videos about pricing and business and he doesn't have a logo and a menu uh, at the top of his website so just to show you that you can start without a logo and without a, uh, a menu and a call to action and just talk about what you do and and the way he does it for him, he uploads on YouTube and he's got a podcast and it's just fantastic what he does. So, and, or you can have like Pixar, it's just white, black on white at the top, but really the eyes are getting onto the product or so in this case, I don't know if it's a movie or something. So, um, so just to show you, you can have plain stuff, very simple stuff. And really it's the important things is what you do. So if you want me to actually have a look, uh, at your website and your header and, and in general, have a look, there's going to be some links. And sometimes, uh, I do reviews of websites. So if you're interested, join uh, the channel, join the mailing list, and you'll receive, um, sometimes some emails and I'll pick a few people and I'll try to review different websites and try to, um, you know, help you in picking sometimes a better design, especially for non-designers. It can be tough at the beginning, uh, but sometimes just having me just mentioning a few points um, about your website can have a, uh, a small impact on improving your designs.